looking for a unique craft that you can do with pumpkins, you will love today's video. Today I'm going to take this simple little pumpkin and I am going to put a covering on it with macrame that really, really makes it pop. It's a super easy craft, so don't let the word macrame scare you, but it will make the, the decoration of a pumpkin absolutely adorable. So let's get started. Okay, to make this cute little pumpkin, here's a little visual of the supplies you'll need. You'll need to have some cotton twine, roughly about 14 yards of it. You'll need to have um, an alternative uh, twine to wrap on the stem if you choose to do a contrast. You can use the same twine. Um, I've done both. Uh, so if you want to do jute or something different, you'll need just about 25 inches of that. You'll need a couple rubber bands. You'll need a small pump pumpkin, you will need a measuring tape, and you will also need a work surface. Um, the work surface I use is just a foam board from Dollar Tree that I um, have put together. Um, and here's just a little bit of visual on that. And I do have a video on macrame tools uh, that I talk about that a little bit more. Uh, but you'll just need to have a surface that you can pin your items to, and you will need some straight pins. So to get started, Take your pumpkin and uh, measure from the center of one side to the center of the other side, and this is uh, five inches. So you take that amount and take that times uh, five, and that'll give you 25 inches um, for this pumpkin. Yours might be different, but for this one is 25 inches. So we need to cut 19 pieces of our twine 25 inches long. We'll need to cut one piece of twine uh, that same distance plus five. So we'll need to do one piece of twine that's 30 inches for this pumpkin. I've done a handful of pumpkins. All of them are roughly around five inches. So if you're doing a small little one, uh, you can figure that cutting 19 at 25 inches and one at 30 inches, you should be good. Then for your stem, I'm going to use a thick or jute on this one. Cut a piece that's roughly 20-25 inches long for that. Okay, to get started we're going to um, do something that they call a magic circle in the crochet world, but it's super simple. This is my 30 inch piece and what this is going to represent, this is going to end up being one of the cords that we macrame with, but it will also be your center uh, circle as well. So take your cord, lay it down so that your ends are together take this end and twist it and make a circle so here's what we have we have our ends together and we have a circle and we are going to put a couple pins here okay so I just put a couple pins in there to hold it in place now take one of your cords um, that you have 19 of fold it in half go under both of the circles and bring your tail through the fold. You'll have to just put your thumb there so that we can get it pulled tight. There we go. And you're going to attach all 19 pieces in the same way. So fold it in half, put it under, and you're going to be putting it under two cords right now. We're not going to put any under here, and I'll show you in just a second how we make this a small circle. So do all 19. Okay, I have the 19 pieces attached here and I want to actually show you how you draw this together and show you sometimes some of the things you need to adjust on it. So these are the ends over here of our circle and so that is going to become a set of the cords that you work with. So you just, we want to keep those as even as possible so we just draw a little on each one and take up the slack of our circle. So you're going to have to slide some down each side. And see like here's a little bit of slack. We just need to make sure that we get all of that slack taken care of. So it's just uh, adjusting back and forth. 
And double checking, yeah, we're, we're pretty close that these are just within an inch of each other. So this center cord here is five inches longer than the others. Um, and obviously this circle isn't going to take up all five inches of that string. But I did that to adjust for any that when it doesn't become um, even on the end. So there we are. We're getting close there. So now that um, cinched up to be a, a center there and see now this one's just a couple inches longer so that's perfect. So the two uh, that we just got done doing that to tie just a, a basic knot to hold those together and that becomes a set of the two cords. So here is the beginning of our pumpkin. And I'm going to show you the bottom of one that I have um, already done. And so this circle here is the bottom. And we are going to have four cords come up on the sides. And then we will start our macrame. The distance between the circle and where we start is um, roughly two inches. And you can use a tape measure and use that to mark your two inches. But I would suggest just grabbing a piece of cardboard and making a spacer that is two inches. Uh, and these are the, this is a, just a corrugated shipping box. Um, if you have your corrugation running up and down, it won't bend and collapse. If you run it sideways, any pressure on this will make it bend and collapse. So uh, I would suggest making a two inch spacer. Okay so let me show you how to do a square knot with your cardboard. I'm going to do it without the cardboard first so that you can see and you might want to do this just leave it nice and loose and then slide in your cardboard if it's too hard to handle. And um, a little trick that I learned from this macrame projects book, which I would highly recommend, is if you can't tell, if you can't remember which, um, if you're ready to do your left one next or your right run right side next, um, let me show you what they their tip. Um, so your your left goes over, your right goes over that, then your right goes into that little hole. And so now you have your knot, and you, if you can't remember what you do next, the string that goes out the back is the next one you do. So this one exits the front, this one exits the back, so this is the next one that comes across uh, your cords. So now your right goes over, your left goes over that, and your uh, cord comes into that hole. So this is, it's a really good book. I have the link down below. Uh, so I'm going to slip in my two inch cardboard, tighten up my knot. There we are. And you're going to continue that all the way around. I have each of those completed and so now we have two inches from the center and again this is the bottom of your pumpkin so two inches out to your first square knot. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to take two from each of these so you can divide those two and you can divide these and so now these four make a square knot and these four so you're going to take the two uh, cords closest to each other and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a square knot but this one the, the measurements are a little bit different so let me slide those out of the way. So for this square knot we are going to just do it a finger length away. I know that that's um, not exactly precision but it works. Uh, so here's that. There's a square knot here and a square knot there and we're going to make them about a finger width away. So I'm just going to tighten that up a little bit. So there's about a finger and there's about a finger and it does not have to be precise. So I would say that that's roughly a half inch uh, between uh, the first square knot and that one. So lay out your project and take the, the two cords from each of these and put a square knot in between them, roughly a half inch uh, from the one previously. So now that you have your uh, last round of square knots, you get to do that one more time. So now you divide two from the one you just completed 
two from the one beside it and we do a square knot again about a half inch or a finger width away so we're going to do that all the way around and you'd be surprised how close you already are to finishing this okay this is what your project looks like at this point this creates a little diamond so there's our first uh, square knot that's three inches from the center then we split it and did one here and split it and did one here so it creates a diamond very honest it is super easy for me to lose track if I have went all the way around so at this point count to make sure you have 10 diamonds so there's one there's another diamond there's another so just count all the way around to make sure you have 10 diamonds okay at this point when we get ready to do our last row so here we have the two diamonds that I was just talking about one and two so now we're going to take two of those and we are going to combine them and um, make one square knot so we have two we're going to make four in the center and two on the outside so we're going to do a square knot just a little bit chunkier than the others and again we're going to stick with our scientific measurement of a half inch or a finger so there we go okay so I've turned my project and now again we're gonna combine here's two diamonds I'm taking uh, the all of the cords from those two diamonds separating out now there's four in the center two on the outside and making a square knot And we have roughly, there we are, roughly a finger width around. So now you're going to do that all the way around, and I'll show you the next step. So here is what we have going on now. Here is um, the square knot where we've combined. So where you had 10 diamonds before, now you should have five bulky square knots. And we are now ready to put your pumpkin in. So the pumpkin um, is better if it doesn't have a long stem. Most of them that I purchased were either broken off or uh, had just a little nub anyhow. So set your pumpkin in the center. Upside down is a little bit easier at this point and let gravity take over. Make sure none are left behind. Take a rubber band. And the rubber band does show a little bit um, when you make your stem, so a, a neutral color would be a good choice. And so this is when we take our stem. And on this one, I am going to use a contrasting one. Here is a visual of using the exact same cotton, which absolutely is adorable, but I wanted to show you uh, the, another alternative for that. So here's how you do your stem. So we are going to leave a good two inches and point it to the top of the stem. So here's your tail. Make a loop down at the bottom and pinch it with your finger and just start wrapping nice and tight around your loop that you just created. So to know you're doing it right, you have a loop here at the bottom and you have a tail at the top and we're just wrapping around the center. Wrap clear down to the base, but you just have to make sure that you still see this little loop. You can't cover that up. Now you take your tail that you just got done wrapping, stick it through that loop, and this can get a little tricky depending on what kind of fiber your cord's out of and you just pull until there we are and so now you have your t your loop that you started with is there and your tail is there so I'm just going to nip off both of those pick a length that you want you can leave it as long as you want your your uh, stem I think on this one I'm going to just give it a haircut at about two inches and you have now finished your pumpkin. These things are super fast to make, super cute. So if you ever have questions while you're doing it, give me a comment down below. I would suggest checking out that macrame project book, super handy. But as always, thank you for watching DIY on the house.